Okay. So I was saying the brown rice milk powder assimilates better when digesting it for its B-complex vitamins. In comparison to um, tablet vitamins or pressed pressed vitamin. And the edamame, um, the soy milk powder derived from edamame soybean and not soy nut, whereas I'm allergic to soy nuts. Uh, I've had soy nut butter before and I have a mild allergy to it where it's like where my throat would, you know, begin to get irritated and slightly close up a little bit. And past years ago I had it, so I switched to just edamame products. When it comes to soy, I'm okay with edamame variety. That, that includes tofu. Tofu is derived from edamame, which is the green soybean. Soy nuts are, look more like chickpeas, and they're, are, they're a bit smaller um, in diameter than a chickpea, but they are also more solid than, let's say, the way chickpeas would be served. Okay. So anyways, the edamame... Soy milk powder derived from edamame is the complete protein in this drink, whereas the brown rice milk powder is not a complete protein on its own. So this is like traditional food combining in some ways in, when it comes to a non-dairy beverage. Now, um, yes. Okay. And... Uh, the soy milk powder has a higher concentration um, of, let's say, calcium than the brown rice milk powder. And carrageenan, I'm not even sure if that even, that may have very, like, micro amounts of calcium in there. I haven't looked it up yet. For the measurement that I had used was one level teaspoon of carrageenan, whereas uh, the soy milk powder was one serving, which was approximately four level tablespoons. Water. And what I'm trying to say is the soy milk powder, the macronutrient in this, other than um, it being a complete protein, is that it would be the calcium, the higher calcium concentrations in there. So, we're one would have to supplement with the vitamin D2 source or source of vitamin D2 from, let's say, mushrooms um, in another recipe that they'd eat or something like that, or they would their skin would um, absorb it from the, the ultraviolet light from the sun and then translate it into vitamin D. And that vitamin D helps absorb the calcium. There you go. It's much better with the, the brown rice milk powder. It goes down smoother. I'm going to do that from now on. It's not just an ordinary soy milk drink here. Good stuff. Like sands through the hourglass. I'm just gonna let it soak there and absorb it. <laughs> 